I am strongly, strongly committed. I think it's arguable that he's the greatest legislator of his time, which is a pretty long time. He came to the Senate in 1963, and perhaps second only to Henry Clay in the history of the Senate. He's done, he's had a leading role on a remarkable number of issues. Uh, some of, uh, you know, if, you, if your parents or somebody you know gets benefits from Meals on Wheels, that's Kennedy. If they go to a neighborhood health center, that's Kennedy. Uh, he played a leading role in ending the draft. There's been no civil rights bill since he got to the Senate that he hasn't played a significant role on. The Americans with Disabilities Act may be his single greatest achievement, but the important thing about him is persistence and finding a way to work with people of the other party. The fact that his colleagues, even when they don't agree with him, know that he cares, that he's a man of his word, uh, and that he's a, he's a man of the Senate. Much of this, you know, respect came after his presidential run, after he fully committed himself to the Senate uh, in 1981 and 82 and 83. 83 perhaps most of all because in November of 82 he decided not to run again. It's the end of a Kennedy era, whether it's, you know, I, I don't think that there's any reason to think that it's an end of an era of the Democratic parties being concerned about the sort of values he holds. Uh, I think he shares them with the president. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, I think it'd be easy to say the end of an era.